Hawk Girl and Firehawk Space Sleigh Lines Part 2. It has no territorial claim of the Kuiper Belt, then, asked the Kund commander. Not technically, replied Firehawk. Theoretically, we share this system with the Martians of Mars, they are in a slow and tentative restoration mode at the moment. The actual claims and other planetary bodies in our systems have no clear earthly conventions. We have mining settlements on some of the moons, but the ownership has not been... claimed. And in contact is relatively recent in Earth history. I understand, replied the Kun commander. D do you mind? I, I smoke, he asked. Feel free, said Firehawk. The Kun lit up and stood by the window of the office, looking out into space. We'll retreat shortly, back to our former position. Then we'll end. But we will return one day for further uh, investigation. As you wish, replied Firehawk. The Kund came and stood in front of Firehawk's desk. Thank you. You have been very uh, informative. He nodded at her and left the office. The Hawk girl came in as the Kund left. What did he want then? Hawk girl asked Firehawk. Questions about the system's dominion and ownership claims replied Firehawk. I gave him the lay down. A different approach this time, is it? queried Hawk Girl. Kuns are usually quite direct. They uh, invade first and ask questions later. Well, this time they're doing a fact-checking mission. Said they'll return one day as well. The Federation, no doubt, said Hawk Girl. Agenda. Presumably, replied Firehawk. Well, wanna go hang all the lanterns? Bug them a while. May as well, said Hawk Girl. Learn more of the mysteries of space slave lines. Firehawk and Hawk Girl ventured to the conference room, looked out by the Green Lantern Corps, entered as the door was usually open, and sat down on seats against the wall. Master Cole observed them for a moment and returned to his work. What have you learned then? asked Firehawk. Master Cole looked at her. Well, if you really must know, we've worked out the uh, main ley line extending into this system that it goes directly to Earth's moon. It has branches which connect to the planetary bodies. So the main line actually goes to Earth's satellite, not directly to Earth. We're not really sure why. We'll be visiting the moon to do a survey, said Jack P. Chance. Assess any prior activity of significance in its history. There's probably a reason the space ley lines go there instead of Earth. Fascinating, said Firehawk. Well, uh, can we come along? asked Hawk Girl. Recently I had a run in with a Thanagarian assassin called Blood Gang. It was a little unnerving. When I sit too long, I think over it and it troubles me a bit. I need to keep busy at the moment. Jack looked at Shalandra Fane, who shrugged. Well, I suppose so, said Jack. We have a number of survey monitoring devices on board our ship. A few of them are not overly complex to understand. We use both of your little training to monitor them for us as we do the survey. Sure, replied Firehawk. That'd be neat, said Hawker. Jack smiled at them and returned to his work. Firehawk turned to Hawk Girl. 
We'll uh, stop at Earth briefly, or possibly just the JLA Watchtower. I'll talk to them about the Kuns. Normal protocol, agreed Victor. They observed the lanterns for a while longer. When much of the day had passed, and they drifted off for their evening rest. Orca was looking forward to the moon survey. Had a mind get a mind off recent troubles. The space slow lines going to the moon was interesting, though a grand mystery. Researching that could be quite illuminating. Hawkel and Firehawk, space ley lines, part two.